hello everyone welcome to a new video so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add social media images or social media uh, preview images to your next yes project using the pages configuration now everyone uses the pa the app configuration but i'm going to show you how to add the pages configuration if you have some of your projects that you still haven't migrated to the new app configuration in next yes so these social media images are also called open graphs and once you share your link let's say on linkedin for example so that's the link for one of my projects and you can see that we have like a social media image here it's like a preview of how the software looks or how the website looks so if you go to twitter or x in this case and if you want to share the you're trying to share like your project right so then you can see that we have a like a preview image which you know it's better because it um it shows like what your website is about and you know like a preview like a sneak peek of uh what your users will see when they go to the website right okay so this one uses the app configuration this application but i'm going to show you one application uh this is localhost but let's go to them to the page itself so this is one of my projects so if you go to the page itself we have it here and let's say that i want to share this project right let me close this so let's go here and you'll see that there is no preview it only says web link and all of this and if you go here as well you won't see that there is a preview see there is no preview so okay so we're gonna fix this because we're trying to share this project and we want people to see like a preview of the home page of that uh, website so what we're gonna be doing this one uses the pages configuration so I, I'm assuming you already have your code and just get it running on localhost maybe we won't need to visit this but just have it there okay okay so what you want to do is you want to go to let me make this a little bit bigger so on the left side where you have your project you want to go where it says um, underscore document and uh, let's go to source let me close some of these folders and if you go to pages in this case i'm um, using the pages configuration as i said so pages and then you know underscore document.tsx and this is where you have let me open this up all right and this is where you're gonna have um this is where you'll add you know how you want it to look right so let me make it smaller and see it has like the html the head uh, the style sheet and all of that so this is where I'm going to be using the open graph tags or elements so that it's going to show like a preview. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to have a preview image of how your website looks like, right? All right. So we can go to underscore document and we're going to add everything here uh, where you have the head, the head element here. So we want to, uh, you want to show like a preview of this, right? Of your website. So let me just make a screenshot of this. I'm just going to screenshot this. Mm. Let me just try to do it again. All right. It's going to show the button. It's fine in this case. So it's going to show the button, but it's fine. So I have an image. I have created an image. So let's see where it went. And then, okay. So we don't have it here. All right. Okay. Let me just look for the image. I should have it somewhere. Okay, so once you have, uh, you know, taken like a screenshot or you've made your image like on Canva or any other like, I don't, I don't know, like Figma or Photoshop and you have the image that you want to show as a preview. So I'm going to show you the one that I'm going to show is this one. So this is the one that's going to be the preview. Uh, it's good enough for me in this case. So let's just move it to the, um, you can move it like to the public folder, right? So here public and let me just rename it something like, let's see, um, just like preview image or something like that, or just preview. I'll just name it preview. And I'll just move it to the public folder and you have it there. Okay, good. We have a great image. So now we can focus on the code here. Okay. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add like a new link element. Okay. And this one is going to be like an icon. 
and href so this is the path to your icon right so favicon icon okay in this case favicon ico right so if you go to public and you go to icons we see that we have a like a favicon but i'm just gonna put it outside because in this case uh, this one it's inside of like the icons folder and i could have adjusted the path here to do something like icons like that but i, I just like it to to have it like that okay so that's the first thing that we want to do all right so the next thing that we want to add is like a meta tag right and it looks like this it's a self-closing tag and then we'll do this and then we'll put the name which is going to be like a description so this is a description of our website and then we'll put content and i already copied something and i'll show you so this says like grad school template uh, well this is the name of the website so um, i'm just going to change this to uh, find the best pre-made templates designed to meet your graduate school needs and all of these right okay so that's the description of our website what our website is okay so the next one that we want to add it's a meta one once again these are all like metadata tags and we'll go here and for this one we'll say property and we can say here og site name so this is going to be the uh you know the the website right so the website itself so content will be the website itself let me just try to keep consistent with the quotation marks here okay so here it's going to be like og so open graph site name and then the content is going to be like the name of the website or like the url of the website so if we go here, so this is not the one, but this is the one. So we'll just go here. And then All right, and then we'll put it without the HTTPS and something like this. So that looks better. Okay, so that's it. Uh, the next meta tag. All right, so let's do the same thing. And now we're going to add like a description once again. And let's see this. All right, so now once again another meta tag and i'm just going one by one i can just copy all of them at once but i just want to explain what's going on here all right so then next one will be almost the same thing let me just copy this all right and it's not going to be uh so it's going to be property but now it's not going to be the site name it's going to be description for content we'll just put something different so that you can see that you can put the same i just want to show you that this could be different but um We'll just say something like graduate. Oh, uh, sorry, grad school docs. AI is uh, the best. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go to the next one. So we had a site name description. So now what we want to do is we want to have another one. So meta tag. Keep doing that. All right, so then we'll just say property and then OG and then title. And then for the content, we'll have, so this is the title of the of the website. So in my case, grad school docs AI. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm just gonna paste it and then we'll do the Twitter cards or X in this case, right? So we'll say, um, you know, property twitter card and then here here we can put like summary large image that's correct okay so that's gonna show like as a large image once you share it on twitter and then now we're gonna do the same thing and what's the title that you wanted to appear here and this is for the this is for twitter right so then once again here we can just put like grad school docs AI and then same thing but now for the description right all right so instead of title we'll just say description right and um, maybe I'm just gonna copy this here so I'll just put the same thing school resources okay cool all right and now we need two more right so these are the ones for the image itself 
Okay, so here we'll just say OG image. All right, so this one is for the image itself. So this might be the, the most important one, even though all of this information is important because it's also like metadata. Um, this one will be uh, the one that's gonna show. Um, yeah, it's gonna be the one that's gonna be shown on the on the screen once you share it, right? So I'll just take this, copy the URL, and for content here, we'll just do this, uh, slash, and then you you wanna you know this is the path where the image is. In this case, the image is gonna be in preview. That well, it's the public folder, right? So then we'll just say preview, and then the PNG because this is like a PNG image and that should be it. And now I'm just gonna copy the same, paste, and then this will be for Twitter now. So we'll just say Twitter image and then same thing, okay? So just keep that and that's it, all right. All right, so we have added like quite a few lines here. Uh, the first one was for the Fabicon uh, icon here. The next one is for the like the description and yeah so description the site name we have here the site name uh the description of the site the title uh you know the summary of the uh well we want it to be like um like a twitter car right here we have the title once again description this is for twitter the image and this is the image that's gonna show okay all right so we have quite a few lines of code here all of them are like metadata tags and what we can do next uh, we're just gonna push these changes, right? Let me go to Twitter and let me try to share this so you'll see that I don't have a preview yet. All right, so you, you can see that there is no preview right now, right? Okay, so once I go to here, let me push the changes. All right, so now we just have to wait a little bit and I'll, I'll be back once all the changes have been uh, propagated correctly on the application. All right, so I have clear history and then I'm just gonna come back here and I'm just gonna type my website and you can see that we have the preview here. So if I post it, you'll see that I have grad school docs AI and you know, this is for LinkedIn, right? So I'm just gonna delete this, but you can see that it's working now on LinkedIn, right? So yeah, so usually this takes a little bit longer, but uh, let me post and see what happens. Let's see, let's go into this. Yeah, so it works, see? So now it works. You can see that it says uh, from grad school docs. Yeah, I got All right, so now you can see that we have shared them on Twitter, on LinkedIn. So if you try Facebook, it would be the same thing. I just tried Discord as well. I showed you and it shows the same thing. So now once you share your link, uh, people will see or users will see that you have like a social media preview or an image or like a preview image of how the website looks like. And they'll be more inclined to, to click on the on the website or go to that website. So that's good for SEO purposes and that's good for everyone. So more users come to your website. So yeah, that's it from this video. Um, you know, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, share it with other people and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.